entry-level phones often get a bad reputation for being sluggish, and the A3's lower specs could mean limitations, but Redmi aims to shake things up with a familiar, premium-inspired design at an affordable price point. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the ultra-budget Redmi A3. I'll be putting it under the microscope, checking design, cameras, gaming, display and all its features. Can this phone be a solid option for those who just need a basic, non-outdated phone, even if it's not the market's most powerful? So buckle up, hit that subscribe button and before we get technical, let's crack open the box and see what goodies Redmi has packed in. The box is no frills, but there's a bold statement on the side. India's most trusted brand. I gotta say, it's interesting. It definitely speaks to the popularity of budget phones like this in India. Speaking of popularity, what do you guys think? Is Redmi truly India's most trusted brand? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear from viewers in India if this claim rings true for you. As we open the box, we are greeted by a star of the show, the phone itself wrapped in plastic. Rounding out the package are a SIM ejector tool and a quick start guide. Now, onto the good stuff. There's a clear step up from the previous A2 Plus within 10 watts charger, which is a fantastic improvement. But the real winner here is finally ditching the outdated micro USB. Finally, Redmi heard our cries for a universal standard and we're finally getting a modern USB-C cable just like everyone else. This is a huge upgrade for ease of use and charging speed. A big win for everyone. The A3 is surprisingly light and slim. It feels great in the hand thanks to its easy grip and the smudge resistant leather-like textured back that adds a touch of premium flair. Now about the back camera, it might remind you of some higher end phones like the Xiaomi 13 Ultra or 14 Ultra, while the circular design trend can look sleek. For me personally, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing. It's entirely a matter of taste though. Just like a Samsung's A series adopting the S24's look, some will like it, some won't. Remember, different phones target different aesthetics, and that's okay. Rounding out the design, the A3 features a flat frame and modern speaker grille at the top. The right side houses the power button, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor and volume buttons, while the left side holds the dual SIM tray and a dedicated microSD card slot for up to 512GB of additional storage. Overall, the A3 offers a good-looking design and decent build quality for its price point. It comes in three color options, olive green, light blue and classic black. Alright, let's move on to the display and speakers. The A3 boasts a larger 6.71-inch HD Plus display compared to previous Redmi A series phones. While it's not the sharpest, with a resolution of 1650 by 720 pixels, it offers decent color accuracy and good brightness. You won't have trouble using it outdoors under sunlight, thanks to its 400 nits of brightness, plus a scratch-resistant glass layer protects the screen. One thing that might stand out is the single speaker located at the top, unlike the most phones that have them at the bottom. While the sound quality is passable, it can feel a bit tinny, especially at max volume. This is a limitation due to the single speaker setup and might be noticeable when watching videos. Remember, this is a budget phone, so managing expectation is key. While the speaker isn't the best, it gets the job done for basic use. Alright, let's talk cameras. As I mentioned earlier, the A3 takes inspiration from the higher-end Xiaomi 14 Ultra in its camera design. While it looks fancy, keep in mind it's still a single 8 megapixel sensor at the back, similar to the previous models. Don't expect flagship level detail here. But here's a surprising part. Despite the low specs, the A3 actually captures decent photos. The dynamic range, which is the difference between the light and dark areas, is particularly impressive for this price point. Xiaomi's image processing probably deserves some credit here. But listen, zoom is not this phone's strong suit. Up to two times zoom, totally usable. But you push it any further than that and oof. 
on the front we've got that basic 5 megapixel selfie camera. It will hold its own for video calls and casual selfies, nothing fancy. You'll get the usual beauty mode that tries to smooth things out and give you that porcelain skin effect. There's also a portrait mode that attempts to blur the background, but it's not the most convincing. Low light performance isn't great for either camera, guys, so if you're planning on taking epic night shots, this phone might not be your best bet. Stick to well-lit environments and you should be alright. Videos are recorded in full HD at 30 frames per second but without image stabilization, so expect some shakiness. Remember, comparing this phone to flagships like the iPhone 15 Pro wouldn't be fair, while the A3's video lacks stabilization and detail compared to the iPhone, it's important to consider the massive price difference. Overall, the A3's cameras are surprisingly decent for its price range, offering basic functionality and acceptable photo quality. Alright, let's talk about software and performance. The A3 runs on a modified version of Android 14 from Xiaomi. It's closer to stock Android and doesn't have all the features of the full MIUI experience. While it has some customization like a dark mode and new animations, you also find bloatware apps pre-installed, which can't be deleted. However, they did add face unlock in a recent update, which works reliably even though it's not the fastest. A notable omission is NFC, a contactless payment. This feature is becoming increasingly common and its absence might be a deal breaker for some users. Unfortunately, it can't be added through software updates due to hardware limitations. The A3 packs the Helio G36 chipset, a bump from a previous A-series models. It's not the most powerful, but it will handle your daily grind, calls, texts, social media without a hitch. It can even handle some lighter games. Asphalt 8 runs ok on low settings, but anything more demanding will struggle. Why the struggle? This phone's got a measly 3GB of RAM and lacks serious graphics muscle. It throws in an extra 3GB of something called virtual RAM, but trust me, that usually just slows things down even more. Storage-wise, we're looking at just 64GB, which isn't a ton, but hey, at least you can shove all your photos and videos onto an SD card up to 512GB, so no more deleting cat pictures to install a new game. Here's the real deal on the performance. Asphalt 8 runs alright on low settings and 30fps, with a few stutters here and there. Not amazing, but playable. You won't be able to download the latest Asphalt 9 Legends, because this phone just doesn't have the power for that. PUBG Mobile also limps along on the lowest settings at 30fps. Don't expect a smooth or gorgeous experience, but it's technically playable. Call of Duty Mobile runs… well, it runs. But don't expect to be topping the leaderboards with this phone. You might experience some lag and frame rate hiccups, so aiming might feel a bit sluggish. If you are a hardcore gamer, this phone just won't give you the edge you need. Now, for casual gamers who just want to unwind some lighter titles on the go, the A3 might be okay. It can handle simpler games without a hitch. But if you create the latest high-performance titles, you'll need a phone with more muscle. So overall, the A3's performance is aimed at casual users. It will handle everyday tasks and some lighter games just fine, but for hardcore mobile gaming, you'll want to look elsewhere. Now, the good news. The A3 packs a massive 5000 mAh battery. In my experience, it easily lasts 3 full days of heavy use on a single charge, which is fantastic for users who prioritize battery life. While Redmi claims up to 30 days on standby, real work usage with tasks like streaming, gaming and social media will likely result in the 3 day mark. Another improvement is the charging speed. Ditching the hated micro USB means we get up to 18 watts fast charging, which fully charges the phone in about an hour. This is a significant upgrade compared to previous models. While the phone comes with a 10 watts charger, you can use any charger that supports up to 18 watts without damaging the phone. Even more powerful charger like the one used with the Xiaomi 13 will still charge the A3 at its maximum 18 watts speed. 
All right, let's wrap things up with the big question. Is the Redmi A3 worth your money? Here's the deal, for the budget phone it's not bad. The design is decent except for the camera bump, but maybe that just me. Remember that time Google Pixel came out with a camera bar? I wasn't feeling it at first either. Now I have a Pixel 8 and I gotta say the camera bar is kinda of fire. Clean lines, modern look, definitely a win for Google. So the A3's whole round camera thing. Yeah, that's a maybe for me. But hey, maybe it will grow on me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Moving on, the display is nice and the battery life is surprisingly good. But let's be real, the RAM, storage and processor are pretty basic. Think of it as a no frills champ. Calls, text, browsing, the occasional Instagram story, that's where it shines. Xiaomi even kept the software pretty clean with stock Android 14 with very little bloatware to bog you down. So the final call, if you need a phone for the essentials and don't want to break the bank, the Redmi A3 is worth a look. It's not a powerhouse, but it gets the job done. My verdict, 6 out of 10. Not gonna win any awards, but a decent value play. If you enjoyed this video, you found it useful and want more tech smackdowns, smash that like button and subscribe for more in your face tech goodness. Oh, and transparency time, I had to buy this phone for the review. No sugarcoat in here, this is my honest take. And while I wasn't paid for this video, making awesome tech content like this definitely fuels this channel. Speaking of which, you can snag this Redmi on AliExpress or Amazon. Links are blasting in the description. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.